last like couple of years it's gotten a lot better like you've got so many more things on now as opposed to like two years ago you can get gigs you can play places it's kind of easier yeah um depends on the gig because some if you're playing like a lineup with three or four other bands a lot of the time they bring just their friends the other bands bring all their friends and they'll just watch them and then spend the rest of the time smoking or getting a drink or taking a piss or something like that so it can be a bit dicey it's only really the kind of big important gigs where they're well promoted that get good all-round crowds like the three-year monster league party the other week it was promoted well and everyone knew about it so everyone watched every band which was really cool but in general they're pretty audiences are pretty open to new music and stuff as long as you're good you've always got your friends you know that'll come to to every gig and that's like that's the core you know couldn't get anywhere without that and then I mean, it'd be nice if Wollongong citizens took a bit more pride in their local scene. Like if, like I said earlier, if people cared as much about, you know, the local scene as they did about football matches or whatever, we'd be, we'd be laughing, you know. Mm. It takes just as much talent to get a ball from one end of a field to another to play a, a song that touches people, you know, so. Yeah. I think it's the audience, because people just aren't into, that, into live music uh, yeah. that much. Well, I think it's all the fucking artsy... <laughs> Techno douchebag yeah, shit going around. It's no, people, yeah. no one has any time to come and watch a band anymore. They'd rather listen to a guy play a fucking DJ set. I think it's a bit grim to be honest. Um, just because a lot of Wollongong people just want to go to Glassy and Castro's and Retro Night and they just want to get Maggot and listen to Ministry of Sound CD 21. And they don't really give a fuck. And the ones that do give a fuck are shunted out by the fact that the venues keep closing because they're not making money because they're not managing it well enough. There's too many shit bands making it even shitter. So it's like, I really don't know where it's going to go. Either either it's going to pick up or it'll just die. I think they'd need to get a few more venues there to make it... um to make it a lot better. So until they get more venues, it will sort of stagnate for a while, I think. Maybe get a new venue. Maybe get more well-known bands coming down. And yeah. I don't know, they're trying to do it. They're kind of trying to do like a like a hot dam on Thursday night at the, the Grand. I think, you know? I think that would be the best thing. Like up in Sydney, you know, they have clubs that are like pretty much specifically built for the fact that, you know, bands will be playing there all the time and people will come in and, you know, and not have the normal club kind of set up, but it's all there for the bands. I think that's kind of what Wollongong needs. I think they've tried to start it um, at, at the Grand, but at Cooney's, but um, I'm not sure how well it's going anymore. I think I still have it on a on a Thursday. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just don't think people are as like interested as they were. Um, I reckon it's probably just going to keep going how it is. Sort of a place opens up and everyone plays there for a little while, and then it gets shut down. Yeah. Somewhere else will open. Someone else will run something and then give up and. I think it'll just sort of... It's not enough interest. Yeah, just keep trying, but not much success, I think. Yeah. It's always going to be around, I reckon. Oh, yeah, as long as there's a uni, it'll always be a music scene. As long as, like, mm. they keep doing these... Like, the uh, Mercury Blue Scope comp, that's really good for exposure. You know, like, people still come up to me years later saying they saw me in the final in the first year and stuff. It's just, yeah, it's really good that it's getting mm. out to the public and they're, they're putting money behind it and everything so as long as that keeps going the uni uni bar band comp that's a bit more for the sort of the older people it's just yeah it's just exposure so i think as long as those keep going then there will be a scene just all the you know like all the clubs and stuff around here they're just built to be clubs yeah not the house bands whatsoever like yeah. bands can play there and stuff they'll have some kind of setup but it's not the situation where you know we're a club that's built for bands so bands can come here and play just more exposure of what's going on so people know who's playing when they're playing and getting as I said that more mainstream people to play and headline like they had Washington there and no one knew about it until a couple of weeks before sort of thing and it's all through Facebook if they promoted it on like television and radio it would be heaps better but yeah yeah I think, I think mainly a taste in music would um, yeah. be the best thing to improve the even opening like a yeah. punk club or something because there's so many people out yeah. there that love like punk and metal and stuff but there's no 
specified club that just play that music for people to come and watch. So it's kind of no, ab- no advertisement, you, man. Like, could you just your trauma? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe right. someone who opens something or starts running something and tries to keep at it. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just going to give well, it up. Well, Monster League's pretty good yeah, like that. Yeah. They're trying to do city diggers in Wollongong now, but it's pretty yeah, it's scarce. Sick. Like, you don't know if you're going to get 10 people or 30, 40 people there. Like, you, yeah, you just never know, man. That's about the only thing that's, that's running now. Make something where it's like, music is the idea behind it, pub comes second, and then yeah. people will come. You know? And, um, yeah, not that I can say too much, but probably make it so there's more music on not just on Thursdays yeah. even though I know the sound break nights are on Thursdays <laughs> if I could I'd have it on Wednesdays or something it'd be good to have different nights of the week people think that music's kind of just churned out but they don't realise that songs need to be tested live and like tried out to an audience and you have to keep trying like our band's been going for three years and we're just starting to get right in like a good niche where our sound is our own and our songs are starting to get really really quite good but you need that three years of people still coming and seeing you and supporting you and it's like people don't have the time to do that or people don't want to give up the time to do that where they can just go to the pub and get pissed on cheap booze so it's kind of what can improve it people coming up to more shows I guess but I don't know. Strippers? Will strippers help? I think strippers will help. Strippers help anything. I'm sick of wasting my time.